brought to you by Evinrude, makers of the innovative line of E-Tech outboards and the official outboard of On The Water TV. Hi, welcome to On The Water TV. I'm Devin Ruddick and on today's show, we're going to be joining Neil Larson, John Pilcher and Dave Beaumont aboard Tuna Nut as they set out Atlantis Canyons for a 24-hour fishing adventure. The crew begin the day by packing the boat with fishing gear and supplies needed for their long voyage. John and Neil review and test the onboard safety equipment and before too long, they leave the harbor and set out into that beautiful blue ocean. Hi, I'm Neil Larson. Today's show, we're gonna be spending 24 hours in the Northeast Atlantis Canyon. We're on board Tuna Nut, a 33-foot Hydrosport Vector center console. We're gonna be staying out here all night. We're doing a little trolling for tuna during the day. We're gonna be uh, spending the night chunk bite for tuna, possibly some swordfish in the mix. Who knows what the day will bring. But uh, we're gonna have at it right now. We're setting up to troll in this deep blue water. It's beautiful out here. Spend the night with us on Atlantis Canyon. A little bit better. All right, we just uh, trolled past a high flyer and uh, doubled up here. We got some mahi right by the boat. Beautiful fish. These things are all lit up. Give you a little view of what we got here. Some nice mahi mahi. Look at the colors on this fish. It's absolutely gorgeous. All right, we've trolled some mahi up. We're gonna do a little cast into them now and see if we can blast one here. John said right through the uprights there usually does the trick. There we go. Taking a little drag. Yeah, on. he's he Oh, we on? doubled up. We doubled up. He's on. Double header. Double header. Of little Mahis. Doubled up on Mahis. Hey, we got Dave trolling in the back. I cast him, just like John said, right down the middle, right in between the uh, marker buoy and the, uh, the buoy itself. And I uh, picked up a couple of nice mahi. All right, Dave. Dave's boarding his now. I'll fight mine a little bit on the spinning gear. Good. Yeah, he's off. These fish are a lot of fun in this deep, deep blue water here. And they're just beautiful. This one hit like a freight train, really took a lot of drag. Very aggressive fish. He's staying down a little bit. You see, we got a lot of weed in the water, too. Dave's gonna. Uh, All right, Dave, get him. There we go. There we go. Two for two on that one. All right. Nice job, guys. He's a great eating fish, mahi mahi. Beautiful fish as well as good eating and uh, we're gonna take some for the table. Well, all right, we'll get them in the box and uh, we'll get trolling again. We're watching On The Water TV. All right, we're back, we're getting the spread reset. Hopefully we'll get right back on top of them again and get another strike before the sun goes down tonight. We're putting out a, right now we're putting out a uh, rainbow spreader bar. They've, the yellow fins have been hitting it pretty good. We're going to put that on the outrigger. We've got a green machine bird way back, which uh, we're going to put a little further back. And then we're going to put another bar on the other side, ballyhoo. Cedar plug, and we'll put out a marlin lure just in case. And another deep green machine on this side. So that's it. We're going to get back to fishing here. And we got a fish on here. Yeah, John's deal? working on getting a uh, harness system here set for us. Mm 
All right, Dave. Well, we uh, moved over, heard some uh, action happening over on the uh, northwest corner of the canyon. So uh, we trolled over this way. Lo and behold, uh, we hooked up. It's been tough fishing today, a lot of weed in the water. But uh, we're on here with uh, hopefully a nice yellowfin. We'll see what uh, we'll see what we got on the end of the line here. How's it feel, Dave? That fish hit on the uh, bird with the green machine way back? Way back, yeah. Center rig. He's got the braid harness on. He's letting the rod do the work. John's just got the boat in gear and uh, keeping us moving, keeping some tension on the fish. And uh, fighting this fish from the port corner. You'll notice as we get closer, uh, we'll keep that fish right off the port corner. With the, John will keep the boat with a little quarter turn, right John? That's right. Dave's got uh, Pen 50 uh, two speed reels here. Straight butt rod and uh, John, what'd you say the uh, test was? It's an 80 pound test. Line. 80 pound? Yeah. Pretty standard out here. Sure. These fish are uh, such strong fish. Really pound for pound, probably the strongest fish in the ocean. But we'll see about how it compares to a swordfish, maybe, later yeah, if we get right. lucky, right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, John, do you want to make a determination on the uh, whether to take this fish, or uh, are we going to are we going to gap that fish, or this fish, or? Uh... Yeah, let's see what it looks like. Okay. I mean, we don't like to we don't like to kill more than we need to, but absolutely. But uh, you know. If, if as long as somebody's going to eat it, you know, one fish, one fish per person is okay. Is in my book. So we're in our, about hour number nine here on the 24 hours uh, out at the canyon. So uh, that was the magic hour, I think. We're we're at about 5 p.m. I think we left the dock around 9 a.m. this morning. So. I saw a little flash. Yeah, I saw a color. Yeah. Okay, there's color. See the fish. Wow, that fish is lit up. Yeah. You're towing a little weed with him too. Yeah. yeah. Boy, he's lit up. That's cool. Fish is absolutely lit up. Don't touch above. Just grab. You can you, if you can grab that. Wrap it once. It's an albacore. Oh, nice fish. Ah, oh, beautiful. Yep. Good, right, Willie. Okay, here he comes. Oh, beautiful fish. Oh, that's a big one. Got it. All right. There he is. There he is. Dinner. First fish of the first uh, tuna of the day. For Tuna Nut, our inside of Dave Beaumont. You're watching On the Water TV. It's almost dark. We hooked up, baby. Yeah. All right, that sun just went down. It's getting dark out here. We're in about our uh, 11 or 12, I'm not quite sure. But uh, we got a couple of fish okay. on. It's good. And uh, we're just clearing the lines here. Let's see what we got.
We worked out the kinks, we got the lines cleared. This fish is coming right at me right now. Making some line, uh, making up some line. Yeah, you wanna, let's keep them off this corner. We're gonna fight them uh, poor corner, John? Well, which one do you want? Hey, you make the call. Let's He's do it on this right side. So right let's now. do it on this side. Alright. But I want but here's what I want you to be very conservative with turning, okay? Alright. He's he's pretty close here. Watch the, watch both lines, babe. Watch this one and watch this one. This is the most important, quickest, but then we gotta get a clear that one later, alright? You okay? Oh yeah, I'm just using the legs right now. Almost straight up and down on them. Right here. Come on up. There's, There's some color. Class. There's, There's color. Some color. So Dave, wait. As soon as we get color looking close, you're gonna grab the gaff. Okay. All right. He ate the ballyhoo. Let's wait till he's circling. He's he's a yellowfin. Wait till he's eating. Wait, just give it, give it a minute. Gap him. All right, good. All right, nice job, fellas. Nice job. Let's get him in. There we go. There's fish number one. That's an albacore, a true albacore. The white meat tuna, chicken of the sea. Nice, nice. job, Neil. All right. All right. Thanks. Well, we just we just arrived at the spot. We're gonna set up on uh, the west wall of Atlantis Canyon, which is like about 80 80 miles uh, or 85 miles south of uh, Falmouth. And what we're gonna do is first, before we start drifting, trying to trying to catch a swordfish or at least some tuna, um, I'm gonna put out this parachute anchor. It's like a drift anchor, a 12 foot anchor, and we're gonna we're gonna set it out. We're gonna check what our drift is, and. Uh, on tracking it on the GPS. And then once we've established our drift, then we're gonna reset up, pull the anchor in, and set up where we want to fish for the night. So all right, well this is how we're rigging up the uh, the sword rig. So, this is a squid caught in Falmouth this spring in May and uh, frozen quickly and vacuum sealed. And what I'm doing is I'm taking a taking a 12 odd offshore hook other people use circle hooks, smaller hooks, lighter line, but this is 300 pound test and what I'm doing is I've already run one side of this rig, the leader up through the center of the squid and then I'm taking a second tag end and I'm poking it out about three quarters of an inch away from the end so that it's going to form a V like this. There's my needle and I pull that through like that and it acts as a stopper. So what I do is I pull this up like so, and that's as far as the hook can go. And then I pass it through the head of the squid. And it makes for a very stealthy presentation that swims beautifully. You can hardly see the hook in there at all. And then you clip the tag end off and that's it, like so. So that's the finished squid rig right there. So if it catches a swordfish, we did our job. So there's lots of ways to do this. Um, you know, don't criticize me for having the way that I've, I was taught, but we, we got the squid. You might have saw how it was rigged with a 12-0 hidden uh, offshore hook inside. What I do first, I've got it attached to the line. And what I do is I let it out. I have a couple of floss loops put in the line first one is here and it puts my my light my electroloom light which is right here allows me to attach it with a long line clip 
onto the line without damaging the line. Send that down. Another about 10 feet away from there, I attach my weight. This rod is set for 225 feet. It's one of the deeper rods. Um, I also do them at, at uh, 100 feet, 150 feet. And uh, sometimes I'll throw one shallower. This one has another floss marker. I let the line down fairly slow, but has another marker at 200 feet. So when I get there, we'll throw the balloon on, which has a light stick so we can see it drift away from the boat. Put, put a little drag up to strike. That's it. Up, up to strike. We got plenty of line. Okay, follow the fish. Somebody follow the fish. We're in a sargasso weed mat. Could be a tuna. Could be straight just about down, anything. Yeah, straight up and down. But it ain't no baby. Grabbed it on the way down. Didn't yeah. even get it down yeah. 100 feet, which makes me think more that it might be a tuna, but or a shark. There's the squid, you see it? Yeah. Or is that, is that the squid? Hard to tell. Looks like a little sword. It's a little swordfish. A little sword. Yeah. Yeah. What I'm gonna do is. I'll leader him and let's bill him. Lead, let's leader him. Do you think you can bill him? Sure. Give it a try. Keep his head out of the water. Got him? Got him. Pull him in. Here, get the light. Yeah. There he is, baby. Yeah, there he is. It's a little right. puppy. It's a little beard. All right, we got to get a tape on him. Yeah, we'll get a tape on him. I don't think he's quite big enough, but yep. he's a swordfish. Look at that, huh? All right. We're on our about 15 or 16 here. I lost track, and uh, we got the night bite out here in Atlantis Canyon on the tuna nut. Tuna nut's turning into a sword nut. We're going to get a tape on this guy. Why don't we lay him down? It's going to be short, I can tell you already, but not by much. Here, you hold that right at the fork. Yeah, he's 39 inches at the fork and the lower right. jaw, so we're going to have to release him. But Neil, why don't you do the honors? I will. What's that? He moving? He's moving. All right. I'd give him a little run. What a cool fish. There he goes. He's slowly swimming away. Look at the power in that tail. It's incredible. For a little, little sword like that, you can just feel that power and thickness in that tail. What an exciting night here in the canyons. 24 hours out here. The sun's coming up over my shoulder. It's time to head for the barn. And I uh, hope you enjoyed today's show. Got some uh, albacore tuna. We got that beautiful little puppy swordfish. Just a great night. Thanks for watching today's show. Wow, what an amazing full 24 hours of fishing out at Atlantis Canyon. If you'd like to learn more about today's show, log on to onthewater.com. And from all of us here at On The Water, thanks for tuning in. 
On the Water TV is brought to you by Evinrude, makers of the innovative line of e-tech outboards and the official outboard of On the Water TV.